we're just driving through Macon. We're not going to get out. And yes, the road is really rough here. This video is going to be a little bit bouncy. These roads are bad. Welcome to the Red Clay, y'all. Georgia. We're in Macon, Georgia. Just south of Atlanta. We're going to drive right through Macon on the interstate. We're not going to get out on a street level and see the streets today. We're just driving through on the interstate. So this is what it's like to drive through Macon on the interstate. Um, we only have like a little bit of daylight left and there's a town we really want to see on the other side called Green. Um, and I'm not sure why it's taken so long. I feel like we should have already been there. Either way, but well, we are going to drive through a little bit of Macon to be honest. We're going to drive through a little area of Macon. But we are going to see a little bit of Macon. It's not going to be like the whole thing. Just, we're gonna see like parts of it. Looking at the route we're on, we're definitely gonna see some parts of it, and not the whole thing. We'll get to see a little bit of it. I'm not gonna say we won't see the whole city, but it's mostly gonna be an interstate drive for the most part. At some point, we do have to get off the interstate to drive through the city. But we're heading northbound on Interstate 75, and this is just what it's like to drive through Macon. We can make it to this town by uh, nightfall. Yeah. We really want to see this town called Gray. How far till we get off the interstate? We're gonna drive for a while. I can't believe the outside temperature is still 64. Yeah. 
lights that are red? No. They're black. Black and black and silver. Not the ones we had on there, but uh, right, so up ahead in a little bit, in a mile. Mm -hmm. Okay, so up ahead you have construction. Be careful. Yeah. Slow down. You have construction, you have an accident, and then you have obstacles on the road. So just a little bit of everything for everybody up ahead. Mm -hmm. You're getting on 75. So just stay on 75. You're getting on 16 heading east. 16 east. South, actually. Yeah, you're on 16 east and north. Okay. Not sure why the GPS is not talking. 165? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm not sure why the GPS isn't talking. We're gonna stay on 75 for now, but then you're gonna take 16 east. Because there's an obstacle on the road, Pantone. Really right here, careful. east of Anna? Yeah, pay attention, there's an obstacle on the road. Keep right on the road to stay on I 75. Complaining too, and that's just me. I'm scared. The car's scared. We're all scared. Quarter mile. Keep right at the fork to continue toward US 129. Ugly river. Look at that brown, nasty real water. Wouldn't be surprised if it rained. We're gonna get off the next exit, which is 129 North. Ah! Keep right at the fork. Uh, uh. I'm not overreacting. The car was scared. I was scared. You were just like smiling like an idiot. Like, you're all going to die. What is all of us were terrified. The car was scared. I was scared. I'm glad the, I'm glad the car took my side of the argument. Because, like, that would have been an undisputed argument. Unless, this is his if favorite car, car no, listen, he's ever if had. The car, <laughs> if the car had not beeped at you, mm -hmm. this would be an undisputed, part. like we'd still be disputing this. But thanks to the safety features in this car, I can he, he, I can say that I won this argument. He's told me the only cars he's ever gonna have now are Toyotas. I hope I said that. Last night, you're like, I'm gonna have a Toyota as every car Go that women. you drive so that I can keep winning arguments. I don't like Toyotas. And I, I'm not in a Toyota because I want to be in a Toyota. I'm in a Toyota because I have to, I have to get good gas mileage. So it's not because I want to be in this. I'd yeah. rather be in a Silverado. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the good thing about this car is that I can win arguments. Yeah. Just keep up with the van, please. Because like right there, if the car hadn't beeped, you would have thought you weren't doing nothing wrong. <laughs> like in your mind, you hadn't done anything wrong at all. In your mind, you whatever you were doing made sense until the car beeped, and then you're like, "Well, Jose beeped, and the car beeped, so I guess I'm wrong." But if it wasn't for the car's loyal support to my fear, because like, let's suppose the car hadn't beeped, you'd have been like, "I didn't do anything wrong." I'm like, "Yeah, you did." No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. I oh wow! Well, uh, if 
first stop and you see this. What? Litter? Yeah, these people are disgusting, bro. Uh, no. You'll what? see it in a moment. Almost miss? Yep. Yeah, but look at all the litter. Disgusting, bro. Yeah. These people are filthy out here. <laughs> so we're gonna get off on this exit and we're gonna go... We're trying to get to the town of Gray. It's a town me and Kitty have been wanting to look up for a while. Yeah. Um, one of our favorite country singers, Demon Jones, is from there. And then um, on top of that, they have a Jack's, which is one of my favorite fast food restaurants. And then on top of that, for some reason, we just want to see it. Yeah. So, we got to get there before it gets dark. It's already 5 14. Mm -hmm. Why are you, like, touching my leg? Because you're wearing leggings. And where is shorts? Short leggings. The other day, she was wearing these pants that were exactly the same exact tone of her skin. And I mean, like, even I, after realizing she was wearing them, every time I'd see her, I'd get, like, freaked out because she was walking around with the windows open. It was the same exact color as her skin tone. I kid you not. Turn left onto US 129 North, North Avenue. Oh, yes. Welcome to Making Bacon. Making the bacon, making the bacon. Eaters, don't get caught in the red light. Making the bacon later. Continue oh, on US There's a bunch of homeless here. What the crap? Minutes. Yeah. There's like at least eight homeless people underneath that bridge. Mm -hmm. Wow. Did you catch the. Did you catch. I don't know what you saw. I just saw like eight homeless people. Mm -hmm. Wow, dude. All boarded up. Look at all these businesses. This is the mm -hmm. hood out here, bro. It's all boarded up. This lane, right? Uh, yeah, if you want to crash into something. All these businesses are boarded up. Yeah. Every last one of them. Wow, this is Grammy out here. I haven't seen this part of Megan yet. Ooh, ooh. Like everything's all boarded up and like abandoned looking. Yeah. Rough looking town, bro. It's like everything's like boarded up and abandoned looking. Homeless people everywhere. What the crap, bro? Mm -hmm. And this is the heart of Georgia. But then the people here in Georgia say, You look at people in California! There's a problem in California! You think you don't have a problem here? Focus on your own problem first. This is horrendous. I oh, saw horrendous. North Florida type stuff going on there. Yeah. Dude, this looks horrendous. Mm -hmm. And then they go on people here in Georgia. It's California's got a problem. No, you have a freaking problem. You have a problem. Everyone has a problem. But, yeah, but your problem is by no means lesser. Yeah. Because yes, at least they have, they have a lot of homeless in California. Yes, they do. That would have been. But they fun also have they have a strong real estate market. They have good paying jobs. Mm -hmm. They have a quality which you definitely don't have. Uh, let's see here. They have beautiful beaches, beautiful mountains. Perfect weather. They don't have to worry about tornadoes coming through the town every weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a look, you can probably get on this lane. It looks really complicated if you get a chance. Get this one? Get on the lane if you get a chance. Okay. No, I said if you get a chance. Not like I did. Okay, because it seemed like you're just determined no matter. Well, there's like, is there like just garbage everywhere, dude? But I love how they don't get so close to the car. Remember you're recording. You don't want to just see the back of a car when you. But, anyways, it's like. I love how people here just try to like make it seem like there's problems in other places. Dude, California. You got yes, it in they your have own backyard. Problem. They have a homeless problem, but let's talk about the condition of the homeless in California. Mm -hmm. One, they have perfect weather. So they're not like they're they're they're, they're able to get their they're get, they're able to get food stamps. It gets down to under nineteen here in the winter sometimes. Yeah, it's cold here. I come from Alabama. Mm -hmm. And it's roll tide red. Bless their heart. Anyways, the homeless people I saw in California, um, it is true that they are very bold about where they set up camp. But hey, they, they should be able to have something. I mean, if you're homeless, you should be able to sleep somewhere. Some balcony or something. Not, you know what I mean? Like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, they get food stamps. They get the ability to... They're all shaved and cleaned up. They're not, they're not chronically homeless. You see some of these homeless people out here, and they, they're just like covered in, you know, you can tell they're all in stuff because their skin's peeling. 
their hair's all matted, they smell bad, their clothes is dirty. You, they have no real place to sleep. At least the homeless people in California are able to set up a tent. You know, kind of somewhat have humanity, you know what I mean? Like you see some homeless people in the south and they look like freaking, they look like Tarzan looking people. At least in California they're able to kind of like shave and shower and people give them food and money and crack and stuff and they're able to be happy. <laughs> Maybe not the last one, but yeah. You get what I'm saying? We're on the north side of Macon now. But it, it's just crazy how, um, how blind people are. You know, they listen to uh, Fox News or CNN or whatever they listen to and then that's their whole entire opinion about the world is based simply on that on whatever they're feeding them on their on their favorite news network mm -hmm. and they don't see the big picture that homelessness is everywhere i've gone to places and seen that the news was wrong yeah like el paso texas mm -hmm. remember they said el paso there's they're crossing over by the thousands there's homeless people from mexico all over el paso one of the cleanest cities in america Maybe a few hundred go into the office in a single file line uh, yep. to be processed. Yeah, it's it's unbelievable how um, misleading. And, and if you show them, like let's say in the case of like El Paso, right? Mm -hmm. We have subscribers who. situation mm -hmm. we showed them that the news networks were lying to them beyond any reasonable doubt we went there and what they were showing was all a lie mm -hmm. that they still don't realize they're being lied to like you can show them hey look we're here in El Paso none of this stuff is going on we talked to a US uh, custom and border official Jones County baby yeah. okay we're in Jones County finally but people want to believe what they want to believe. Like, there's, you can't really. Yeah. You can try to help them and teach them, but hey, they, they don't want to. They want to believe what they want to believe. What are you going to do? You know. Mm -hmm. It is what it is. The end of the day. People are blind, and, and if you show them the truth, mm -hmm. they it don't want to see them it. Mad. It makes them mad. They don't. They don't want to know the truth. Are we in gray now? You're not in gray yet. You're ten minutes outside of gray. Because that was gray. Oh. Yeah, you're under a gray area. Yeah. You're not in gray. gray. You're already in Jones County. Yeah. Anyways, it's amazing how despite the fact you can show people the real situations, they don't change one bit. Mm -hmm. It makes no difference to them. They yeah. want to believe the lie they're being told. Yep. And, um, you know, homelessness has exploded throughout the whole country. Mm -hmm. It's not. You know, they're, they're, at first, they're making it out to be, all right, I'll check it out.